G'day and welcome back to the channel. Getting some progress on this panel. Five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> So the last time I left you, um, I was in a bit of a state, and uh, I've taken some time. I came back down later that evening and had a bit more of a play with it, and I've made a little bit of progress, and I reckon we can get this thing sorted out without too many dramas, um, just a lot of work. And uh, I've managed to fit that back panel on in an appropriate manner. Um, it's just tacked in at the moment. Damn phone, hang on. That was my tree guy. Mate, he done a good job. I've got, my front yard is huge now, so I can do the things I want to do there. That's a story for another day. I might take you on that journey. But anyhow, we're working on this panel. Um, the bottom section's tacked in, fits okay. Um, let's have a look at the rest of it and we'll go from there and see what we can work out. So where we're at, what I did, um, we had all that extra metal. So basically, all I did was centre it. So, move this out of the way. Screwed in where it needed to be at the top. And then I sliced it on the bottoms and then butt welded it or tacked it along that edge. And same on the other side. Um, trying to keep the radius somewhat in order. It's different. But the swages which I need to weld in will probably fix that issue. But it's I can manipulate that, so there's no major stress. So yeah, it stresses me, but I can see through it now, so we'll be right. Um, I only ever get phone calls and messages when I'm filming. Otherwise, I don't get anything. It's ridiculous. So don't bother about checking your phone. It's mine. Now, as far as the back window and the chop goes I think the best way to do this is to build it unchopped so I'm going to use this back window which has got the right shape kind of it doesn't have a lip for my to fit the glass in which I'm going to have to do which is going to be another challenge but the outside of it is there not that it's any good look at the lines on it it's terrible but we're going to use that one so once it's built it's all finished with everything done then I'll take four inches out of here on both sides cut it up as one piece join it back together as you normally would with a normal chop I think that's going to be the best way to do this to make it all fit and make it all uniform so I've just got to work on this piece by piece I think the next thing I'm going to do is put the window in the right spot where it needs to be and then hopefully it lines up here somehow we can get that tacked in um, and then we can start working on butt welding the edges, we'll trim it butt weld and we'll build it up from there. Once that's in place, we know where the swage line needs to go. I need to try and get it to work with this one. So that might be a bit of a challenge, but hopefully that lines up and then we can put the piece that goes in there, around there, same thing. We'll slice it, butt weld it, weld it in there. And then the last, damn it. Then the last um, piece that'll go on will be the curve on the roof at the top which I'll cut off that other piece wherever that's yeah it's over there look so that'll go on last so how I'm going to approach this bit is I'm going to make sure the window is in the right spot then I'll screw it down somewhere um, it's in the right spot this is a dog's breakfast I'm going to work with it that line there is also a dog's breakfast what I'll do it and it overlaps quite a bit as you can see um, I'll take off what I can off here once it's all in the right spot and I'll cut through both panels and then butt weld it
Righto, now we have a line that we can work with. I can butt weld that now. And we're making progress, which is good. Makes me happy. Better than I was the other day, I'm telling you. Righto, that's not looking too bad. It needs a bit of a dolly from the back. So we'll um, sort that out and then we can continue to stitch it up. I am reasonably happy with that before I stitch it up completely. Needs a bit more dolly work. We'll make sure it's flat. But hey, look at that. That works. Let's hope we can line up the sides. I think we'll be able to. A fair bit of work to do in there. Next step will be running the grinder up these sides, tacking that up, and nailing that in. And we're getting there. We will have a panel that we can use. G'day. I've got a bit of metal in my eye, so excuse me. Um, it's been a few weeks since I uh, worked on the old panel and um, I've had some other stuff going on. I haven't been well and a few other things. And I thought I'd come down today and uh, tack a bit more together. And I just ran out of MIG wire. But let me show you where I'm up to. And um, trying to save this panel and uh, got a few updates too from old mate that made the panel for me I think social media got to him the beauty of social media and he um, offered me a refund which was uh, very generous of him and uh, I'm not an a-hole so we agreed on um, a partial refund which I'm more than happy with because there is outlay as far as materials go um, so anyway that's kind of happening at the moment but let me show you what I'm up to so I was in the process of spotting this together when I ran out right there um, but that's kind of not too bad it's gonna need a bit of dolly work I've trimmed this edge up there's a bit of a gap there so that'll weld up nice um, everything's kind of coming together it's not going to be an awesome panel I can tell you right now and that swage is really bad there's lumps and bumps and all kinds of things. I'm not a metal, um, what's the word? I'm, I'm a hack. I, I have a go. So I will have a go and we'll get it as good as we can, but it's not going to be perfect. Uh, these side panels here um, are going to need a lot of work. So basically what I'm going to do, we'll, um, I'll dolly these around. That goes that way. We'll make these fit the best we can and then like these parts here i'll trim it off and then we'll weld it in that's probably going to be the biggest part of this um, project here is getting these to work but they will work um, in the theme of this panel 
they will work. Same with that side. But yeah, so we're kind of, that's all going to weld up okay. Nice big gap there, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll stick a piece in there. Um, as you saw, the bottom panel's on, and well, it's tacked in anyway. Still needs a lot of work on there, but that'll do me for this video. I just wanted to give you an update where I'm at. It has been three or four weeks, I think, and I've just not wanted to do anything on this for a while. And like I said, I just came down to start on it again and i would have filmed what i did except my camera was flat from doing dirt bike videos but we're done for the day and uh, until i get some new mig wire um, we will continue on with this project next video on this we'll finish this up as much as we can and then we'll assemble the cab and we'll mount the cab to the chassis of this thing i've got my new cross member for the front which is a pick up um, sedan cross member instead of the truck one which is going to be good and we'll hopefully get this thing rolling soon but yeah we've still got a deadline for September which we're going to achieve um, but this thing has definitely slowed me down substantially but we'll get there it will work ugly but it will work anyway that's it from me stay tuned be good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff I want to see if I can get this bit of metal out of my eye um, it got in under my safety glasses, so I was wearing glasses, but it happens sometimes. I was grinding, doing all these long bits, so anyway, I'll sort that out now. Take it easy, see ya.